Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to go through your workflow for setting up your drawing into sheets and preparing them for printing to PDF at a correct scale. The key things we're going to focus on in this video are setting up a sheet layout, scaling the drawing and finally exporting to PDF. The first thing to do is set up a sheet in AutoCAD. As you can see in the AutoCAD workspace at the bottom left, you have your workspace tabs. You have your model workspace, which is the workspace we're currently in, and then you have your layout workspaces. So to make a new layout, you just click on the little plus icon. You can click on that layout to enter it, and then you can right click rename to change it to what you want. The next thing you want to do is right click on the layout tab and go to page setup manager. Now in here you can see all the different layout pages you have in your drawing. And if you go to the one we're currently on and click modify, you can change your settings. The plotter I use for plotting to PDF is the AutoCAD PDF high quality print. So select that. You want to set your paper size. In this case, I'll put it to A4. The next thing you want to make sure is the plot scale is set to 1 to 1. For the plot style table, you can either select grayscale or create a custom one alone. Now I'm going to be showing you how to set up a plot style table with pens in another video and I'll link that up in the top right. Now you can leave the quality as normal. You could put it at maximum but I don't see a discernible difference. Make sure plot object line weights is on and plot with plot styles is on and set the page orientation. Now click OK. Now that changed the size of the page but now the viewport's really small. So just select the viewport and drag that out to cover most of the page. Now you can't see anything in the viewport so double tick inside the viewport to edit the viewport workspace and now you just want to zoom around the drawing and get your object that you want to be in the layout roughly where you want it and then to set the scale go to the bottom right corner and click on the scale viewport button and in here you can select any scale you want 1 to 20, 1 to 10, for this it might have to be 1 to 50 or 1 to 100 so let's set that to 1 to 100 and then when you're happy with the scale of the workspace click the little lock icon so you can no longer accidentally move this workspace. A quick tip for when you're trying to set the scale of a drawing if the scale you want isn't in the menu down the bottom you can simply scroll to the bottom and go custom click add give it a name make sure leave the paper units at 1 if you want it to be a 1 to whatever scale and then change the drawing unit. So if it's 1 to 500, the drawing units will be 500 and the paper units will be 1. That means that one unit in paper space or when it's been printed will equal 500 units in real life or in the drawing. When you're in your layout workspace, it's really important that you set this border around the viewport to a layer that doesn't plot unless you want to see this rectangle plotted on the page. A quick way to do that is to change the layer to the def points. By default, def points does not plot to the workspace. Now you can check that by clicking print preview. As you can see, there's no border. Another tip for when you're in the layout workspace, if you want to edit something in your drawing, at the moment you can't just go around drawing lines because you're in paper space and they're actually not inside the drawing, they're only on this page. So a quick way to start editing the drawing is just this little button down in the bottom right, click that to go into model space, and now you're inside the viewport editing the drawing. And if you want to get out of that, you can either double click outside the workspace or just click the model button so it goes back to paper space. Now that the scale is set, in order to plot to PDF it's pretty simple, just go to the top of the page, click print, now all those settings are here for this page layout, just click OK, navigate to where you want it, and you're done.